We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. And in this cartoony, we're invading your TV. We're comic dispensers, we crack up all the sensors. On tiny human adventures, get a dose of comedy. So here's at the acres, it's a whole wide world apart. Our homes, we only stand alone, a cartoon work of art. Let's rip where we kicked it, expect the unexpected. Wow, Buster Bun- Oh, too late. Montana Max suddenly appears on TV. Hey, Buster, I've kidnapped Babs Bunny. Help me, Buster, help! Help me! Help me, help, help me, Rona. Come on, Buster, come and get her. What should I do? I have- to help Babs quickly. Welcome to Tiny Toon well, Adventures. Like Tiny Toon, the first of, I don't know, hopefully a lot of NES games or Super NES games I plan on playing through. I, I can't promise a marathon of playing through yeah. them all because I don't own them all, but we got three or four hundred of them between a couple of us, so we'll give it a go. This is very similar to Mario. Uh, kind of a You'll see why here in a minute. First, you get three different characters to choose from. I'm going to choose, I think this guy's name was Plucky. For World One. But, yeah, you start off as Buster. And just like Mario on the Goombas, stomp on the thing, collect the carrots, like, like coins, I guess, and you can turn those in later for extra lives. As you can hear, the the theme song is playing. Yeah, I was gonna say they have a pretty good. I'm gonna. This is a thing to change characters to the other guy you pick. And I I get rid of. Uh, You're a frog. Why is he green? Is that just what he looks like? I forgot how to do that. You gotta pause. Button tap and you can kind of look a little bit. His name's Plucky, if I remember. And I, did, I get rid of Buster as soon as I can. That's the end of 1-1 one, one there. There's three stages to each world, except for the last, for 5 and 6. There's three in World 1, three in World 2, three in World 3. World 1 is kind is of... Is this the one. only music? No. These are kind of the introductory level. They're pretty simple and not much to them. I don't want that. I don't want Buster back. This guy's the best guy for jumping in the game. Oh, what happened to the side of the screen? This guy is basically Luigi. Actually, it's more like Princess Peach. This is their version of Porky. That's all his name is Hampton. This is what you use carrots for. For every 30 carrots, you get a one-up whenever you find this guy's place. Which is usually more hidden than what this one is. He's usually in the level twos of each world. Sorry for the problems. It's... I, have, I have no idea who this guy is. A dog, a very muscly dog. I don't know if that's supposed to be like their version of a strong, wily coyote. That's... Okay, and at the end of each second level, you got Elmira, who is trying to kidnap and do unspeakable things to each character. And if you get caught, you end up having to go back and do the first level of the world again. You definitely don't want to have that happen, and you just wait out the time until the exit appears. For some reason, the colors are coming out weird, but we assure you that the characters are not this glowy.
Like Alright, let's turn mine off. Sorry for the camera problems. Alright. This is, uh... Is that better? Is that better, guys? Ow. From my perspective, it looks kind of glowier than it should be, but... I don't know if it, like, will come this out is, like, that way for you guys. Hang on. Man, it stopped. Jesus. Of course it did. I got it back. I got it back. Alright. Alright, this is kind of like a cheap looking womp trap here. Reacts as one, but... I don't know if that's a one hit kill. I guess if you're over that. There's like, I'm gonna just jump over all these if I can, but there's like little. Like, I'm sorry for the random guys cut, here. guys. Like, if you go through there, I don't wanna show them. I'm afraid I'm gonna take a hit. Take the, no, there's some there. That's what they were. And we got the World One boss, who's. A uh, girl on a skateboard. Scientist, a teacher on a skateboard. Scientist type on it. Is this supposed to be? I guess, I guess it's a teacher because I'm guessing yeah. it's a teacher. Not much to it. Kids don't like really like teachers. He or she is out. Got a key for later. Oh, and that's world one. Pretty I easy just heard stuff. Dun, 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 dun. And this guy goes nope nope. Nope nope. <laughs> He's a dodo bird. And on the world too. Those are extinct uh, nowadays. For those of you who do not know. Which is nobody. I will use all these guys at certain points. But there's different. There's certain worlds I want to use. That the blue one looks like Wiley a little. Yeah. This is a cat whose name is. Oh, it's like Sylvester. Actually recommending Plucky, which I am going to use. That's their version of Taz. With his furball, I think is what his is. I I didn't know anything about this and whenever I saw the commercials on TV I always thought that the oh, tiny man. tunes were like the sons and daughters of the Looney Tunes characters or something. Alright. Yeah, you will not see much of Buster in this game. I just, you know, there is no advantage to their version of bugs. Now, you do get, with Plucky, you can swim better, too. You like, can really go fast in the water, which the next level is even more important than this. Cool. This is kind of like a half water, half land level. What these guys are. So, classic Mario stuff. Like yeah, I mean, you would think that it's Mario, wouldn't it? Like and that's like it for 2-1. Like like okay. Really dumb no. death that I took care of before. Why, why do they have to have this guy each in between? Like, they could have had something a lot more entertaining. I mean, here's a full water level here. It is playing a lot like Mario. Yeah. It look to any review review people out there. It looks and plays a lot like Mario. Tons of fun though. I love this game. It's not all that long. I'm loving the water music. Here, listen for a sec. Stupidity there. Never mind. I guess we'll try again. Yeah, I got reckless there. I was too busy showing off how fast this guy can swim. But don't do that. Who's that? If you, throw, if you can throw a little whirlwind, I'll actually show that off here in a minute. I'm just trying to get out of the water there. I don't know what kind of thing I call it. What kind of it's Jaffy Duck of uh, Bugs Bunny. Now here you can, now I miss. But you can throw little like whirlwinds or tornadoes in the water. And, Alright, there we go. That's how that works. And you have to wait, like, 
like the PO power bar down there will... It when says POW. Remind you of anything? And think about that. Now, that, this is a... They have two different ways to go. You want to go the upper path here, because then you can find this pig up here. And that's where he's hiding here. Turn some more carrots in. So I'll get one life out of it. I get four more out of it. Now I know that they're not the sons and daughters. They're actually the rip-offs. They totally just shamelessly ripped off Looney Tunes, too. Like, like, like no Man. doubt about it. Like, almost every character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Daffy Duck for me. Jellyfish. Uh, every character was a rip-off. Except for Babs. Babs. No. Well, now this... This is pretty simple here. You just stand up here where she, because she won't jump or throw anything at you. Right there. Down there. Um, this one kind of makes me nervous. No. If you mess this up, you essentially got to do two levels over again. No idea what else happens to them. Leave that to your own. Now we got like a pirate ship looking thing. With, uh, I don't know. Sometimes if you can do something get up over that platform. Not that hard to do this level. Yeah, we're gonna. You're not missing anything exciting by me doing this. Just a lot of. He likes to cheat things, guys. Even on Mario Maker. Don't make any cheatable levels. Now this this part of the game is a little bit tricky because you got these mice that are throwing like anvils hey, or some sort of weight like here. It looks like it. If you crossed an anvil with a rubber boot. And do not, some of these barrels have explosives in them. I don't know which ones, but I'm... Um, just, just don't touch them. I just avoid them all if I can. Some of these spikes will fall, too. Just fast as I can through there. Pretty sure all of these barrels up through this area blow up. Yeah, crowd their space, get close to them without hitting them, and those things will sail over your head. Now we got a boss, a pirate of some kind. I like the way we're the gonna things. call this guy Captain Krabby. I don't know what his real name is. I don't know what very But many I'm calling are. him Captain Krabby. But you hit him, he rolls into a barrel after you. He jumps like a frog. Nothing much to that. You know, Spang you and all. A little harder than the guy in World 1 is, but not too bad. Another key? What are these keys for? Um, for the last world of the game, you're actually going to Montana Max's house or castle or mansion. Or, okay. And they open up doors. Is Montana Max supposed to be the rip-off Yosemite Sam? I don't know, he's a really rich guy, and I'm gonna use this cat here, I think it's furball. Because we got a forest. And instead of carrots, you got bears, I guess. They're, They're like, like Granny Smith apples. Apples and pears. Oh, there's a squirrel, and I saw some owls. Alright, now let's... Now here's furball. Now his special ability is you can do this. He can't climb up. He can climb, but he's got claws. So, oh. Well, it's supposed to be like Sylvester. It's hedgehog! Porcupine or hedgehog. They kind of think of them more as hedgehog. They're Sonic! Black. They're black. I don't know any of his theme music, so. I've never played a Sonic in, in, all the way through. Really? 
So indulge yourself with your own Sonic oh, music. You climbed up the leaves. <laughs> I kind of lucked out there. Oh, man. If you have Taz or whatever his name is, you can use his tornado to knock out these blocks, but it's not enough of an advantage to really get him. You really need some good jumping and being able to climb on things, especially in this next next area here. This is like my nose itches. You're in the deep forest here. We got different music and everything. Deep forest. Oh! Oh. We're gonna... I like it. For a second, I thought of the Lightning Smith music from the Disney movie. Oh, there's, there's a bird's nest or a beehive I saw up there. Oh, shoot. There's a pig room in here somewhere, but it's in a really. You see, it's right there, but it's not. I'm not gonna get it for one life, so that's really hard to get down to. Okay, we don't want then you have like more beehive and bat things. Ah, uh, it's turning purple. Yeah. Actually, the level is purple. All right, now here. No, one. like more purple than it is. It's this what? one. She is chasing definitely. after you at a restaurant. Be real what? Scary. Why does she have hearts? Does she like she have a crush on all so your animals? That. And now we got the. I wouldn't really say this is the castle area. It has the same music. It's kind of like underground. That would be lava. That cave music is pretty cool. I think you can go in it though. I think it's just, just water. Really gross water? Mice. Birds or evil bats. The door that looks like a. It looks like it was drawn on a chalkboard. Alright, after this level. Oh, sorry. For a um, Let's see. Let's see. You've seen most of the characters. Most. Now, this looks tricky, but you got this guy, so we're gonna do this. <laughs> cheats level. We tell we're telling you guys he cheats levels. Okay, so actually, you can't really call this cheating it because there's you know they have you know an area up here. Good so. night, internet world and family. Good night, internet from mom. And us. All right, we got a heart. We got a boss coming. Oh, uh, my hand just fell asleep. I'm running into all the problems, guys. We got a... What is he supposed to be? A bulldog monkey? Is that the one guy who spins really fast? Taz? No. No. Taz, Taz is great. It's a bulldog monkey. one of your guys that you can use. It's a bulldog monkey. You can kind of tell which side they're going to come on. Oh, I got him. I can't tell if it's a bulldog or what it is. It's basically dogs he called the bulldog face. Alright, well that's worlds one through three and we'll be back in the next video for world four and beyond. So See ya. Um We're back with a random event that I have not seen this happen too often. But it's a random UFO that comes on the map screen, and no, I, mean, I haven't seen this happen in like years. I don't know what I get if I read it. Like, it's not. Ah, but I did. I don't think I'll get another chance either. But... It happens sometimes. <laughs> like it's like a slip of have... dime thing, like random chance. I have, that, that's been years since I've seen that happen. Well, that's the UFO thing. All right, we're going to World Four. We're going back to Duck for this. This is this is called Boomtown. Welcome back, Sarah. They got oh, dogs. Yeah, we got people throwing stuff out of windows. We got dogs and garbage cans. 
throwing things. Oh, I see. This guy has like the distance when it comes to jumping. Too much distance there. <laughs> two deaths in about two seconds there. All right. We were just talking about how we think each character should have an advantage and a disadvantage. Well, I'm happy now. I mean, there should be reasons to pick some and reasons not to pick others. This is what you want. World 4, the game really starts starts getting harder. What does the duck have to do with anything? You can float with him. Man, they're throwing all sorts of crap. And there is no checkpoints either. You gotta... Let's see how the duck will that's true, that'll help a little bit. There's a chance you might see game over, although they only put you back to the first 4-1 you know, to get a game over. They give you infinite continues. Like, we were thinking maybe the cat should, like, not swim as good as the other two. Obviously, the duck with the best swimming abilities, then bugs, then the cat, in that order, like... I don't ever use the cat other than World 3. For, like, from best swimmer to not worst swimmer? And there's not a... No, other way around. door in World 4. Better. Hang on, I can't even remember how, what order I had them in. Or... And stuff like that. Yeah, like guys jumping from behind the fence in there, and these dogs are in the tires this time. They want the barrels. Most of them are explosive. And they don't hit. I have a question. Are any of these things coming out to attack you, actual characters from the show? I don't know. I never watched the show. The, these dogs and these mice. Those dogs look kind of. I think it would be funny if they had them like like Tiny Tunes versus Looney Tunes. That would be great. But then you'd have to get you'd have to get like the Warner Brothers license and everything. So Tiny yes. by Warner Brothers. No. It's a rip off of I think it's like cartoon. I, I know I see it on Boomerang sometimes. Probably not. It might actually be by Boomerang. What? Boomerang wasn't around way back when this was made. Uh, that's a lot newer than that. Boomerang's basically where you go to see the old stuff. Boomerang's the oldie but goodies. Like, Tom and Jerry is on there right, practically the no all the time. Do you remember that race car game they had? Which one? They had a race car game where you were supposed to... Where there were racers, but they all had, like, personalities that kept them from ever finishing the race. Like, ever. That's the last Elmira fight. See, do you see how small this like is? Escape or whatever. She's an animal lover, apparently, and she loves the animals so much that if she touches them, they, she kills them. All right, no, she kidnaps them. All right, a little, like, doll thing, I guess. Is this, like, oh, this, this is the first game on Nintendo. Oh, no. What was the first game on Nintendo? Oh, the first game, man. It's Black Box. The, probably the See, Black Box series, like golf or pinball. See how you need to have these. I mean, this was even post Mario, but you can see all the Mario inspiration. Look inside of this one. Wait, what Mario is this one? Like collecting not coins, but carrots, popping on enemies' heads. It plays, it plays a lot like it. More of a, a the duck basically has special kitty powers. 
Not special kitty, but normal kitty power. Tanuki, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of it there for a second. So he's going to jump and have these little monkeys come down and when you knock out two monkeys, it'll knock out a piece of his platform up there. So I like to stay on this left hand because they'll never land over on this this side. So I like to, I don't have any hearts to lose here, I gotta be careful on this. Halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, eating mashed potatoes. There we go, that's world four. Guys, guys, we gotta stop before YouTube flags us. Alright, that is all of the three different levels. World 5 and World 6 are one level apiece. Oh, we're gonna get one. Look! Again! Right. Twice in a row! I can't believe it. It's yeah. Dark Vader! That is funny. I have not And it's Stormtroopers. Like, such a long time. I... Okay, I don't know much about Star Wars, but... Insert Star oh, Wars man. stuff here. But anyway, World uh, 5 is very unique, and actually my favorite world of the game. Raiders of the Lost Ark, oh wait, no. Listen to the music that they're... <laughs> Sir starts naming Indiana Jones. Now, in this one, instead of trying to just complete a level, you gotta pick, get, I think, five of those guys. They're called Go-Go's, which I think is a character from the show. Go-Go is insane. Go, go, Power Rangers! Sarah has musical Tourette's. Mm -hmm. I wish I hit the duck right away. Or I just, there's a lot of parallels to like every show. I was going to say this level's not that hard, but when I went ah, right away. It's kind of cute! I saw it before you picked it up! Right. His name is Go Go. It looked like if you took the Roadrunner, shrunk him down, and turned him green. So how would it get until we have you have that? Or maybe it's like the flamingo or hey, something. Man, Steve, we got three or four hundred. You have like a hundred. The flamingo. Get it? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not funny. All right, here's the last. Big room, Hampton of the game. I got Max Carrots, so. So is Hampton like a rip-off porky? The B, the B, that's all, folks. Yeah, that's him. He even look, looks like identical to him. There, there's literally not any difference. You cannot call this guy. How Anything else have they not court? gotten copyrighted? I don't know what the situation was with that. Maybe Looney Tunes was like, hey, if you give us half the cup, we'll let you keep it. Alright, thank God. Hey, look at this, we have bubbles, or buckets throwing bubbles, little footballs jumping around. This footballs? Is like, this is like a little acid trip level going on here. Now we're not allowed to promote the drugs. God, I'm just saying, that's what this level is. I think they call it wax land. Don't do drugs. And the rest of us are either under 21 or, or just or mom. or mom. Who isn't allowed to drink in the household if she wants to stay married to Matt. So. Hey, there's another go go. He's kind of cute. He's like if. He's like a pelican. He kind of looks like if Tweety Bird. Are those pens? Wait, is that a pen? Guys, is that is that a pen? There's another one. It 
kind of looks like if Roadrunner and Tweety Purr had a child, that's what it would look I like. What happens like here. Here's all the go-go's when you make a big go-go. Oh, that's just cute. It turns into a Why don't we get to keep go-go? I want to play as go-go. I'd rather keep the go-go. And play as go-go? <laughs> He's supposed to be insane according to the song, Nintendo, so. if you're listening. Actually, this is Konami, I think. This is a Konami one? Oh, Konami. Is I'm Nintendo sorry. Well, all right, now we're Whoever on. made this game. All right, we're on to the final world level here. This is the only time I'll use. I'm calling this guy Taz. I don't care. His name's supposed to be Dizzy. Whoa. Why are you funny? I thought you were Taz. Well, when you hit the balloon, until I do. Now you guys turn the lights off, so you gotta, I don't know, prick guards throwing night sticks here. They ratchet, they ratchet it up on this level. We have the chandeliers falling. Man, I think gotta do that better. I used to have their pattern down better a long time ago. Played this game, so. Why are you just a set of eyeballs? It's a butler. The butler did it. And I need to find a better way to do that part. Sorry for the people walking across. Butlers are a holes. And again. You're in like back and forth mode here. We should start a counter. Of people coming across. Well, here's the game over. That's okay, actually. This is what the game over. You actually get the Roadrunner screen, which I don't remember from the show. But... Wait, is that a Roadrunner? Is it like actually called Roadrunner in the show? A Wiley Coyote? I don't know. I never like. We need that. to watch the show tonight. It's not Netflix. I actually think I have the DVD. You probably do, but it's just... Alright, here's what the keys are for. These different doors. I don't know why you have to collect the keys. Okay, here's Dizzy. Alright, now I... If you have any character other than him, these spikes are just ridiculous. So I, because you have to run, and especially that one there, run and dive at max speed. When you got the tornado here, you can just... Screw it! You got these guards mixed in too. And then the next part is pretty crazy too. It's ridiculous. Am I right? Alright, now here is... I'm alright, ladies. Now here is the part. Ugh. And then yeah, they're going to do it all again. From the very beginning, yeah. which is dumb. It's going to be, come on. Well, I said, not. At least you're still bad. I'm not going to mess around on this level, man. Throw it all at you here. They figure you made it this far. I am going to That yeah, one spot is turning over. Honestly, I wish I... Was that your first game over? Second. Ow. Ding! Both of them on Montana. Ding! Castle. Ding! We're back doing a counter time. for everyone who goes back and forth. Ding! Sam's at least like 700 by now. Okay, that's actually part where I'm happy to have I need to get something, so... I wish we could edit in... Um... If I was rich and had an emulator, then this wouldn't be a big deal. A counter? Because this would be... <laughs> Ding! Really? I bent over. <laughs> yeah. If you could be seen on the screen, it's a cow. Oh, really? Now. But are we crawl because I need stuff? Get all you need from one corner. Instead of taking multiple trips. Man, 
I'm thinking that does not happen. Let's not be mean here. I'm not being mean, that's just true. Hey, a jump is a tornado. Alright, honey. Because there's a like, yeah. tornado, like a real tornado wants to actually jump us. Wait, I have a question. Why does the Tasmanian devil get to make a tornado. Alright, I am happy to be that. Or, sorry, tornado. For those. Alright, now you're gonna have that big muscular dog, and I don't know his name, running really past different points here. They better not be throw him at you at that little tiny thing. Alright, now this next one's just platforming, which I wish I had the dog. Unfortunately, you cannot just switch at no random. And there's the M's for Montana Max. Oh, or money. Wow. Or anything else in the or anything else in the universe that could possibly yeah. begin with M. Bounce off these boxing gloves up on top of Montana Max. I'm not gonna jump on them when they're right under it. What does the money do? It's just like hitting something. And I give me a good. Okay, that's two. Now we're gonna get two boxing clothes. You know what? We're gonna do that. And there you go, that's tiny tunes. His money just Let's killed. Let's see what him. the ending is. Oh, and there's the, the curtain from a Are you ready for Freddy? There's Babs. Did they pass this one at the table? <laughs> there should have been a big like, kiss makeout scene there. Uh oh. Babs was safely rescued and Montana Max was punished. How? Did he get a spanking? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like what's going on there. Acme Acres has once again returned to its tranquil ways. Well, that was boring. Yeah. Heroes, Plucky Duck, Dizzy Devil, Furball, Hampton. How's Hampton a hero? He didn't even do anything. He, was... he gave you the other heroes? Heroes, Buster Bunny, Babs Bunny, an Acme character. Babs was kidnapped. Do anything to grow up. Tiny Toon Adventures! Yeah, pretty short game. Kind of a Mario knockoff, but a ton of fun. I, I really think that's a wonderfully designed game. They could have made it I like... Wish, I wish they had made three different levels of World 5 with all the Go-Go's and the crazy like tin. That was a pen. You cannot tell me that was not a pit. Okay. We'll ask, we'll leave it to you guys. I don't know. Look like a Do bouncy, you think it's a pen? Bouncy rubber. Let pen. us know in the comments. See you next time on. I don't know if they got any more. Nintendo. I don't know if they got any more on this ending or not. Probably not. Let us play out. Thanks okay. for playing. But I'm pretty sure didn't Nintendo buy out Konami when they died out? Sorry, everything's a little blurry. It's Are not you, perfect. Alright, well, there's our first of the NES maybe marathon. Maybe just playthroughs. I don't know. I'm going to play as many as I can. Tiny Tunes. We'll see you next time for another one. Bye!